Meanwhile, seniors 70 years old and above can receive their COVID-19 vaccine from tomorrow. This will start with pilots in Nang Mokyo and Tanjung Paga, where larger numbers of the elderly reside. Tanjung Paga Community Centre is one of the first CCs to bring vaccinations to the heartlands. Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh, who is also Deputy Chairman of the People's Association, was there this afternoon to oversee the final setup before doors open for the vaccination exercise tomorrow. He said the People's Association and Health Ministry have a three-pronged approach to aid the vaccination drive for the elderly. The three things that PA is working with MOH for the community uh, vaccination centre outreach. So first part is the setting up the community vaccination centre. Second part is the community booking system. Then the third part is the community outreach, one-to-one -one, uh, house call, one-to-many in small groups to explain to the uh, elderly on the background, the need and the criteria for the vaccination. Well, to accommodate seniors, some adjustments were made in this setup, including a community booking centre to help those who have difficulty booking their vaccination appointments online. The design of this vaccination centre, I think the people have put in quite a bit of thought into catering for the elderly. So, for example, there's an express lane there for people who are not so mobile, who comes in wheelchair so that they don't have to wait too long. The size of the booth is also slightly bigger than the ones that you see at uh, T4 where it caters to people who are more mobile so that we can wheel in the wheelchair and wheel out the wheelchair. Uh, even the sitting arrangements, if you notice that the chairs that are being selected for them, it provides greater stability and assistance to the elderly when they are in the waiting area. So these are some of the differences. Mr Chan also said that the government aims to set up one community vaccination centre in each town by March.